Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about Chrome Division and their latest album, One Last Ride. It comes out November 16th on Nuclear Blast. This album has 12 tracks and it's about 43 minutes in length. Now the band has announced that this is going to be their last record, perhaps a reason why the title is called One Last Ride. I will start by saying this, if Easy Rider was going to get a remake this year, this album would be the soundtrack to it. I have no doubts about it. This is a pure rock and roll, hard rock album with some heavy metal influences, but predominantly a pure, pure rock and roll, balls to the wall album. Return from the Wastelands is the intro track. There are, uh, there are two tracks uh, on this record, an intro and an outro, so you're really getting 10 songs out of the record. But the intro track, Return from the Wastelands, is the perfect intro to the record. It really sets the tone. It really tells you a little bit of what's going on with this record as far as being the band's last record and also having Eddie Guzz on vocals because the way the album starts it, it almost has a South American Mexican guitar melody to it a, a, a South American Mexican guitar style to it and it really leads itself to uh, almost welcoming add to the fold for this one last record of the band I really like what they did with that intro on the same hand, what they've done with the outro also plays into this storytelling aspect that the band is trying to do with this last record. Towards the Unknown really is the outro track and it really fits in with the record perfectly because it, 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 it lets you know that this is going to be the last record of the band, that the band perhaps is walking towards the sunshine, but it leaves a little bit of a question mark. Is this really going to be the last record of the band? I guess we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now. A few things about this record. Overall, like I said, this is a pure, pure rock and roll, heavy metal album, but a lot more rock, a lot more hard rock, some heavy metal influences. I really like the guitar work on this record. The guitar work to me is one of the key, key components of this album. I like the solos, I like the riffs, I like the, the tempo of the songs. Just such a, such a pure rock sound comes at you from this record. Really, a, an album that plays well uh, if you're traveling, if you're having a party. It's it's the ultimate bro album, if you will. If, if there's an album that you can really enjoy it with the guys, where the lyrics of the songs are full of testosterone, this album is it. This is a pure, pure guitar riff, solo melodies, balls to the wall, full of testosterone record. This is what you're going to get from song 1 to song 12 with one last ride. Now, there are a few little uh, nuances with the record. They had a female singer on a couple of songs that added a different dynamic, that really broke the record. It, it gave a chance for the listener to, to listen to something slightly different, slightly more melodic, more, uh, more happy, if you will. But the way they, they incorporated female vocalists in, in two of their songs was really smart because they used it in a way that enhances the story of the song and enhances the lyrics. So it was really smart, it really fit well with those songs and I'm glad that they didn't overdo it. Because to me, once again, this album, it really screams rock and roll, it really screams testosterone, it really screams guys drinking and partying. and. You don't want to ruin that mood, that vibe of the overall album by having too much of, of a female influence, if you will, for a lack of a better description. So I like the fact that they use that in a couple of tracks, but not overly used. Also, in the special edition, there is a Spanish version of the song, I'm on fire tonight, which is called Esta Noche Va a Quemar. So that is on the special edition, it's not on the regular edition that has only the 12 tracks, and it's about 43 minutes in length. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I really picked three songs that really spoke to me that I felt uh, a connection to. First one is So Fragile. This is the second track on the record, but actually the first song. This follows that intro track. This song has a contagious riff in its pure metal, pure rock song. Heavy, heavy tempos, heavy song, fast tempos. Like, it just is a killer track. The chorus has also a very cool dynamic. I really like the background humming that has in the chorus. It really adds melody to the song. It adds volume to the chorus. Uh, Eddie's vocals are very raspy, if you will. So when you add that, it really adds a little bit more melody. It really adds a little bit of a higher pitch to it. And it makes the chorus a lot more uh, catchy, more hooky, if you will. I really like this song. I like all the components of this song. And it has 
an incredible solo. This album is full of, like I said before, this album is really has really an incredible guitar work in it. Uh, as far as melodies, riffs, and solos, this song has one of my favorite solos on the record. To say that this solo is face melting does not describe this solo well enough. I'll put it that way. So fragile, one of the best songs on the record. Another one of my favorites is "You're Dead to Me." It's a badass song. A, a, a song that really talks about a broken heart and nothing is better uh, to deal with a broken heart than a hard drink. So to me, this song, it's really about, it's a bro song. It, it's about how guys really deal with with uh, adversity, with broken heart, with, with love problems, if you will. I really like that. It's a really melodic song, not as fast as So Fragile, more methodic, more slower, still heavy, uh, but but doesn't have that same tempo, it doesn't have that same speed. So the, the lyrics of the song really blend well with the melody of the song and with the tempo of the song. Everything kind of fits into perfection to create a song that has a lot of mood, that has a lot of charisma, uh, that has a lot of life in it. I really enjoyed this song, I really enjoyed the lyrics of the song, I enjoyed how the lyrics were presented to the listener and I enjoyed how the, the melody of, of, the, of the music, of the guitar, the drums, and the bass. You cannot forget the bass. You Are Dead To Me has a killer bass line. It really comes across in certain points of the song. You can really hear the bass. It's really predominant and I really like that. I really enjoyed that. Now, my favorite song on the album, hands down, my favorite song on the album is We Drink. Uh, if you like music the same way you like women, fast. This song is for you. Killer, killer song. Super fast guitar riffs heavy heavy guitar riffs a pure party drinking anthem if you will this is the kind of song that when it comes on and you're in the room you, if you don't have a drink in your hand you will find yourself with a drink in your hand doing some cheers raising a glass up hanging out with your friends having a good time this song is all about partying with your friends drinking and having a good time this song also has an incredible solo very old school vibe to it the perfect companion to such a badass bro song. By far my absolute favorite song on this record. This is it. This is Chrome Division, One Last Ride, once again out November 16th on Nuclear Blast. Let me know your thoughts on Chrome Division, on the band, on the record. What are your thoughts about the band putting out their last record, announcing that this is gonna be their last record? I wanna hear from you guys. Use the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.